So we're here at the Zor booth today. Zor, you may have seen them featured on some websites, a new type of, we would call it a gun lock, not yeah. a gun enclosure, but a, a gun, gun security device. Exactly, yeah. This is it? Yeah, this is the Zor. Uh, it's a caliber specific gun lock, which means it fits for, uh, oh, I locked in here, sorry. One, two. Okay, um, this is how the chamber your gun. Okay, it's a nine mil right here. Okay, I'm gonna show you on the gun how it works. Okay. So, okay, put this inside of here, drop the slide. At this point, you have what's called rapid dial here. This is how you put your code in. Now here, the code is programmed to three, two, four. So I do one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Green light means ready to go. Press this down, it's locked. At that point, you can't charge it. You wanna try? It's in there pretty snug, pretty I'm not gonna lie. Dive. It's not gonna matter because whatever you force, yeah. you're applying this way, it's expanding at 10 times that force mechanically inside. So you really, it doesn't matter how strong you are, it's staying put. Now, we say it's best to store with a magazine in. That way, if something happens, you're ready to go. Okay, at that point, uh, you're ready to go. You put it on your nightstand, in your car, whatever it is, your, wherever you're storing your, your firearm. Um, you pick it up, put your code in quickly. Okay, and what you could do is what I did here is I messed up the code. Which means that if I, you know, I'm, whatever, I don't know where I'm going exactly, it doesn't matter. You just start right over in the opposite direction. Okay? So you could do one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Relay comes out, charge it, it's out of it, and you're ready to go. So very simple, uh, pretty much idiot proof. Um, you go. So, Thank you. all of you guys who've ever dialed a GSA container, you know, digital dialing, signal your next number by going the other direction. It's it's a pretty cool idea. I really, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. There are there are things I wasn't sure what to expect yeah. when I saw the 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 advertising is so slick and the videos are so well made. Yeah. Sometimes that means a company knows what they're doing, and sometimes it means that the video is all they got. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, I am pleasantly impressed at the moment here. Yeah. Uh, and the cool thing is about it is that your code can be whatever length you want uh, from 2 to 20 digits. Mm -hmm. So mine at home has 5 digits on it. Um, and the last number, like I mentioned before... Yeah, you can overrun the last number. Exactly, right? So here it's um, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. It's 4, but I go right past it and I can lock it. I'm good mm -hmm. to go. So it's really easy to use. Pops out. And... Um, each, each lock comes with its own specific code that's hard coded in as well. So this is the first code you use when you get it. Mm -hmm. You scratch it off as you can see, put this code in, and then you change your code very easily. You just press this button for a little bit till it turns orange. Mm -hmm. Put your new code in. I'll do the same one just so I don't forget it. But one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Press it again. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. And now it stores a new code. Okay. Now, if you lose your code, yeah, this, this but this is hard works. coded, always works. and you cannot remove that. Can't what remove what it? was the decision process behind that? May I ask? Well, let's say you forget your code. What are you going to do? We don't have your information. I understand. So this is always a backup you have. Now, if you lose this, you got a real problem because we don't store this. It's your information. So, so that's make sure you save this. That is an interesting choice there. The idea for many of us in the security world having a hard-coded password you might consider to be bad. And in so you could make the argument that if someone leaves this in an irresponsible place, that's bad. But the idea that the factory doesn't retain any hard-coded password. Yep. And if I if I get a demo unit and I if I reverse engineer and dump the firmware, am I gonna find any, any factory codes that you don't have anywhere? You could try. Right on. Let us know. <laughs> I will look. Uh, yeah, it's very simple. One of the things is people ask about it being battery powered. You know, mm -hmm. How long is it gonna last? So it's a CR2 battery, very standard. Uh, it lasts between three and a half thousand and five thousand locks and unlocks, so mm -hmm. quite a long time, two to three years at least. You press this, if it's green, it means you've got a lot of battery left. If it turns orange, that means you have about 400 locks and unlocks left. Change your battery at that point. If you get past that, it gets to red, it won't let you lock it anymore until you change your battery. Yeah. So you really have to, hopefully you're checking your gun pretty often, you know what's going on. Let's say you left it though for, I don't know, 10 years mm -hmm. and the battery runs out for some reason. So I'm take the battery off here, change it, you're good to go. So That's nice. You know, as long as you're checking your gun every few months, you never have that problem. So. Now, what if the battery is completely dead or removed? It, it, it's not going to function. So the so lock if, will function. Well, it'll stay locked. Yes. But you cannot change state to locked or unlocked yep, at that point. Nothing. Um, so we're saying you're trading a little bit of your time mm -hmm. um, and you're getting a lot of security out of it. Yeah. And the fact that you can choose your code 
from two to 20 digits and, and different lengths of code, I mean, you could choose how secure you want it versus how um, fast access you how want. How accessible. Now, I was making, you know, DOD lock program jokes earlier when I was talking about dialing, and, and anybody who's opened a GSA container, you start thinking of electronic dialing, my brain went to penalty mode. Th this, there is no penalty lockout, number of bad attempts, anything like that. You saw when I did it before, I made a mistake with the code. Mm -hmm. Just start over the different, different directions. I could do this all day, doesn't matter what, mm -hmm. okay? You know, I went forward, you know, 5,000, doesn't matter whatever number. Yep. Start other direction. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. And it's good to go. May I offer one suggestion? Because this, this is the first version. Yes. And later, the later versions will have some of the other smart Bluetooth integration, not for lock and unlock, but for alarms. On your next version, something I personally would like, if somebody has been tampering with my lock and it just didn't open, didn't open, didn't open, when I come along, I go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. I would love, well, was that going to work? Let's see. So it's not going to, a good point. Three, well, here's what I mean. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. So it's not going to lock now. You know why? Why? Because before you started putting the one, two, three, you started, like, did one this way, mm -hmm. and then did one, two, three. So show me unlocking now, because this is clearly a bunch of failed attempts. Right. Now I'll describe what I would love on the next version. Unlock so, it. So all I got to do is not change direction. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. I would love the green with red blinking for a second, telling me I have had bad attempts. Okay. So that I could come along and I'd say, if I live alone and I'm trying to unlock it, and I say, wait a minute, was someone, was someone in my house touching my gun? Right. Or if I have kids in the house, and I go, okay, one, two, three, I'm gonna put my gun on for the day, and I go, wait a minute. Then I go downstairs and I say, hey, family meeting at breakfast. Who was touching dad's gun? Right. And I know someone has been because it's blinking red. Right. Some indicator of failed attempts would be neat for so me. So you have that definitely on your phone. I mean, yes. the connected versions, this is not connected. But the connected versions, by the years or whatever comes yeah. out, will tell you if someone you know, even mm -hmm. moved it or have an yeah. accelerometer. So if you move it even, you'll know if someone attempted to touch it. Yeah. Um, so uh, one important point, by the way, that came up with what you were showing, you know, you might think, well, wait a second, when I pick up the gun after a night, do I have to know which direction I did last time? No. No, it shouldn't matter. After 15 seconds, whatever you were doing with it is forgotten. Mm -hmm. So I do this, put it down 15 seconds, it's going to forget it. Uh, that time didn't pass, mm -hmm. obviously. So yeah. what I do out of habit when I'm doing it quickly is I'll add sort of a fake one at the beginning. Yeah. So I'll do one this direction. Now I know this direction, it's going to work. Yeah. Okay? So it's very, very simple, very easy. Um, can we get a clip? Can you... Uh, Pop the chamber, the fake chamber off, and we'll get a little close-up footage sure. of the mechanism. Sure. This is the mechanism. Again, when it's sitting in the gun, nothing actually happens, when, even when it's locked. When, it, when, you, when it's locked, though, and you try to charge it, there's a conical-shaped pin inside of here. It causes here the yellow strip here with the metal parts you can see. It expands slightly. Yeah, they flange outward. Exactly. So at 10 times the force that you're applying to, the, to charging it. So. It's like a 360-degree HK roller lock in your chamber, when you mm -hmm. think about it. There's a wedge going forward it expands this, which then causes it to yeah. be stuck in the chamber. And is the actual pin being, can you, do you, I know you don't like to operate it out of the chamber. Can you operate it here just so we oh, can yeah, see the, you. you know, the, the pin drops in? Okay, and show it right there, and you saw that boop, just popped in. Now, is this a small uh, electromotor or an, a solenoid doing that? Or? No, it, it, I, I don't know the details of the program, honestly. It, electronically, it took, the motor makes it lock. Mm -hmm. But at this point, the locking mechanism is right. completely mechanical. Right. I was just curious what uh, mechanism was, was pulling it back. And then if we unlock it the same way, can we see that? Yeah. Okay. So here, so you're not normally the effect, it would be able to, chamber, yeah, not in exactly. a chamber, yeah. yeah. I got to say, it's, it's pretty slick. I wasn't sure whether it would be secret sauce or whether it would be uh, ketchup. Well, but it's, it's, there are a lot of very important features yeah. that if you're missing one of them, it wouldn't make sense. You know, if, mm -hmm. if this is a regular dial, it wouldn't be effective. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if this weren't able to expand it, it uh, force associated with your force, mm -hmm. someone really strong could break it. Doing things like that make it, it makes it like hopefully the perfect gun lock um, on the market today. I like that. So other types of thinking that you discussed with me, it's very popular for electronic locks today to give the user a lot of feedback. A lot of blinky, beepy, beepy if you're operating the lock. Right. And you went in another direction. You wanted it to be silent when the user was operating it. Exactly. The idea is that even if daily use, it's, you know, it's fine, 
is this, is this um, plan for the two in the morning scenario everyone thinks about? Yeah. At that point, you don't want any sound. You want it simple, easy, quick. That's what you got to be prepared for. So um, the only uh, feedback I would say is when you click it, you can feel the clicks real nicely. Oh yeah, the, the, the detent is really crisp. And I don't know if you can see, it's not very small clicks. So a, a click from here is here, here. There's only about six clicks around the whole wheel. So they're very pronounced clicks. Three, so let's go one, two, three, one, two, boom. Now you can lock it, exactly. Uh, and one of the things you might notice is that the outside here is rubber. You know, something's happening, your adrenaline's going, mm -hmm. you'll be sweating. Yeah. You can't be slipping off of that. So it's also designed to be, you know, mm -hmm work for the real situation. Speaking of sweat or other wetness, uh, environmentally sealed, if I drop it in the fish tank, it's going to be fine. Um, it's it's, it's I tough, hope. but a gun also, and even though guns can be fine, you don't want that in the water either. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's sealed. It's, it's definitely, um, you know, you hold up to any uh, weather conditions, that kind of thing. I wouldn't throw it in the ocean, though. Well, maybe if I get a demo unit, I'll put it through its paces and we'll see. I'll let you know how that goes. So cost and availability are they in the retail channel right now yeah we just started online sales about two weeks ago okay uh, it will actually retail for 199 but we're selling it right now for 179 so definitely go in now uh, our website is zora.life yeah just search zora google also number one uh, there uh, and order one now uh, for lower price and uh, that is a that is a very secure. tempting price if i wanted an even more t lower price is you have a uh, a demo program for media can i get a demo unit or we, you we'll talk about it for you sounds good man Thank you for your time. Thank you. Right on. Well, we hope you enjoyed this content, and if we do get a demo unit, we'll, uh, we'll really put it through its paces on some of our firearms and see how that goes.